so guys welcome back to the channel in this simple tutorial i'm going to be showing you how you can create these jquery mobile panels for your website or mobile app you can be creating in the future so this is the live example i can be showing you so as you can see we are having a nice looking panel here having all these navigation contents so here they go ahead and show you the examples we have overlay we have the reveal value for the data display attribute and yeah these are the different attributes you can be using in the jquery mobile library so guys stick around if you want to see how we create this from scratch peace now this is how it looks like on the desktop as you can see we can put content inside these panels now panels can be used for navigation forms inspectors and more so this is how it will be looking on your desktops let's refresh and start from scratch how to create these panels now when i refresh you just see the header footer so in case you missed the first tutorials make sure you check out the first tutorials and be where we are right now now this is our basic layout as you can see we are having the header the content where the button is going to be placed and the footer where you're seeing these labels header and footer so as you can see now this is the main body or content it's going to be empty and these are the files we included we include the jquery mobile.css and below here i include the script tags we have the original jquery file and the one for the jquery mobile.js and this is the file that we are getting the source from from the mobile then when you enter the mobile there is js so inside js is where we have the jquery file and the jquery mobile file so this is where they are found and this is the css file inside mobile we enter css then we meet the css jquery mobile css so let's get started now this is where we are going to be placing our button from So we say we write this ang tag href and I'm going to put here text like slide by default it will be a link as you can see now it's a link so to make it a button you have to add this class of class ui dash btn and the default display will be blocked so it will be taking up the full size or width of the screen or desktop size now to make it small we just add another class of ui dash btn dash inline and when you check it it will be now in the inline mode right now it's not doing anything because you have not yet place the id from the panels now for the panels to place a panel on your page make sure it is not in between the content and footer so it has to be before or after these two elements or sections so you can put it before them like here or after them down so we are going to place them below this footer and not down below the page so it has to be inside the page but in future versions they may be able to place it outside the page section so this way we're going to add the panel we're going to create a div and we are going to give this one a data role of panel data role equals panel and the content that will be inside the panel will be placed here so i'm going to just put some plain text of boston code cipher and make sure i give this div you have created 
an ID and I'm going to call it menu and are you seeing the button we created now on the hyper reference we have to be targeting this div so when the user clicks this button it has to pull out this div so remember we have given it an ID of menu so here we put hash menu so let's save this and this is the most important attribute you have to place on that div data role equals panel so refresh and it's loading so when you click this as you can see now we shall get some panel and it will go back so to go back just place anywhere you want on the screen and yeah that's how you create a panel now let me show you the different attributes on how you can display this panel we are having push overlay and reveal so by default it is over it's reveal so this one is called reveal so you just have to add the data attribute of dash data dash display so by default I told you this reveal and nothing is going to change as you can see it is still the same stuff it's reveal oh we need to close this by default is this now there is also another value of this attribute is called push let's refresh and I see push is the same like reveal just that it's somehow different it doesn't have the box shadow or around it so that's how you can do that we also have overray which I like most overray so when we refresh and check overly so this is how it will be to cover the content that will be on your page so it will be covering this slide button as you can see and it will be having this border shadow around it so that's how you can create these panels and place different content inside them so you can also change the position where this panel will be placed so in the example you saw the panel was on the right hand side so by that you can just add another attribute called data position data position and by default is on the left hand side you can put your right and it will be on the right hand side refresh and you pull this you will see it is now on the right hand side and you can go ahead and place content inside this panel as you can see now it will also be responsive on mobile devices so let me try it on the size of most android devices give it some time as you can see now when we pull out yeah it will be nice even on the mobile devices so that's how you can create panels once again as you can see now we are having these nice looking panels now let me show you the live example now you can add content in these panels so this is the panel we are having I'm going to put the unordered list and I put this list items with ang tags and this one is going to be settings and this one is going to be sound system so the real text you are seeing you saw at the beginning they are the same sound system and here yeah, I have to put this data role of list view list view and when we check out this as you can see we shall be having our list views and they are having these default icons but you can go ahead and still change them now let me show you so the panels are already done I'm just showing you some extra stuff you can use on these panels so dash data inset I don't want them to cover that or size or width equals true so refresh 
and it will be looking like this. Now let us change these icons. Just have to come to the list item and set data dash icon. And for settings, it's called Gia. And for the sound or audio, you just have to add audio. So refresh. And as you can see now, we are having this nice looking icon. So guys, if this tutorial was useful, please go ahead and subscribe, like the video, share it on different social medias. And I will see you in the next tutorials with Keith.